Kurt, you know, and all of us here, Mata State International, we wouldn't be here today without him starting it. And I'd like to personally thank him for that. Um, and, uh, you know, that's part of the legacy and that's a challenge for us boys this weekend is to have two more wins, okay, to make sure that all the credit goes back to him. Because without all this and Coach Kurt starting it, none of us would be here today. I'd like to thank you for that, Coach Kurt. When Coach asked me to come out here and talk to you guys, I thought, he wants to hear an old man out here, you know, but I thought, okay, I'd come anyway. Got to thinking about what I wanted to tell you guys, and the first thing I wanted to say is thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you guys for allowing me to be a part of Arkansas State Rugby this year. You guys, uh, you are uh, true class, every one of you. I, uh, I've enjoyed watching you on the field. I've also know what your grades are, and they're improving, some of them. I know Coach will handle that, but off the field also. And you guys, one of the things that we wanted to do a long time ago when Lee and Matt played is establish rugby at Arkansas State so that whether you're on the field or off the field, the campus would be pleased, proud of you guys. And, and, and that's, that's what you guys have done this year, is you've done it the right way. We've done it that way several years, and I can just thank you so much for letting me be a part of that. That's special for me. It's special for me. The second thing I wanted to tell you is that Coach asked me to talk a little bit about the history of Arkansas State Rugby. And I got to thinking about that, and you know, you guys are the history of Arkansas State Rugby. You guys are the future of Arkansas State Rugby, and you guys are the present of Arkansas State Rugby. What you are is what Arkansas State Rugby is all about this year. Every year, it's a new year. Every year, it's that particular team that decides whether or not they're going to take it forward, go backwards, show off off the field and again it's you today that is the past and the future and the present of Arkansas State Rugby and again I couldn't be more proud to be a part of that and I, I'm just as serious as I can be about that. Now I don't want to steal any of coaches thunder but I got some thoughts on life university for you guys okay. I've watched, watched them since they started um, Sean, if you ever, where's Sean, if you ever, at 8 man, have Kirk 10 meters away from the goal line, and you don't take that ball and go right and feed him, I'm going to personally take a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> because it's going to work, I'm going to tell you, that's going to happen. I've been giving Blake, and he won't, he won't tell you all this, but I've been giving him all kinds of coaching points about the Grizzly lineup. They don't know about the Grizzly line out. That will work and that will score for you. Hope oh, again, I'm not stepping on any toes. Oh, you're good, you're good, Coach. Last thing, and this is the most important thing with life. You know what kind of, kind of team they are. It's that two meters go forward, two meters go forward, beat you to death. The way you win that game against life is you catch them on their side of the game line. You guys understand what I'm talking about? You get on side and you launch and you hit them. And the, if you go back, and I've seen every game live that we've ever played live, I've watched it on tape two or three times each game. The games we won are the games that we lined up, launched for 80 minutes, and busted their ass on. They don't know what to do. I mean, they have had their way year in, year out by going six meters, by going four meters, by going three meters. Take the six and cut it to three. They're going to get some forward. I mean, they're just, they're a great team. But if you bust them, bust them, bust them, bust them, you guys can beat these guys. You have the offense to beat them. But you've got to, you got to commit to 80 minutes. you got to commit to 80 minutes. That's all there is to it. Now, last thing. <clears throat> we have.
had a tradition of when Matt was a junior in high school. I'll tell you one old war story in that thought. We went down to uh, Mardi Gras in, in, in New Orleans for a tournament. We beat, uh, Matt, where are you? We beat <laughs> West Virginia. We beat another team. We were feeling pretty good about ourselves, so we played LSU. And they kicked our ass. 40 to nothing. Lee, remember that one? Yes. 40 to nothing. <laughs> it was hard not to remember it. But their coach came over and said something to me that we had preached from day one. He says, I never played a team that beat them 40 to nothing and got out hit by them. Now, let me tell you something that probably hadn't been shared with the most of you. Sean's heard it, Stain's heard it, you boys that when I got to coach in, Matt had the same philosophy. Arkansas State has had two traditions. Number one, we're going to be fitter than the other team. Now, that's one thing a coach can do is get people fitter, right? The second thing is that at the end of the game, we could circle up, look each other in the eye, and say we out hit that other team. Now, life's tough, but you can out hit them. It takes 80 minutes, and I'm not talking about spectacular shots or laid hits or any I'm talking boom 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 and I want you to do me one favor one favor at the end of the game win or lose when you guys circle up I want you to look each other in the eye and say did we out hit them and if you did I want you to give me a cheer old coach if you didn't we'll talk about it next year and we'll get it going again but I have a feeling guys that you guys went out and hit them and if you out hit them and you catch them on their side of the game line, y'all going to Stanford. Now y'all think through that. Y'all gonna y'all gonna go to Stanford. And then we'll talk about that one. Matt has some St. Mary's ideas, so we'll, we'll let him have those. But, so again, gentlemen, thank you so very much for allowing me to be a part of this. It, it thrills me to death. It really does. Think about what was said. Listen to your coach. I wouldn't have you going with anybody in the United States other than this one right here. I'm sold. I'm sold. Some of you boys, some of you boys, you got 160 minutes. Things worked out to play here at Arkansas State. Give it, give it your best. Okay. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Play some rugby. You guys ought to be excited. Embrace it, boys. Don't get all shy on me, right? It's not time to get shy. Time to let it hang out. Right. Masker, do it for Overland Park. Do it for Overland Park. <laughs> How do you feel, <laughs> Brad? <Brandon? laughs> are you excited for this bus ride? <laughs> oh, definitely not. Grab a game, dog. Give us a smile. Oh, the prediction is that we're going to take him by five points. Are you really qualified to make that prediction? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Why? You play on the wing. Hey? You play on the wing, bro. I have played on the wing. You're really qualified, dog. Penna. What do you have to say for the camera? Not much, bro. Come, it's your last, it's last your trip, last trip with the boys. No, it's not. You got any? Uh, it's not our last trip. Next week's our last. Oh, trip. sorry. Well, it's one of the last. Yeah, let's plan we're going back to life. Yeah, we're never going back to life. We're never going back to Marietta. How do you feel about that? Yeah, buddy. You got anything you want to say to the lads? <laughs> not much, bro. Like that sandwich. How good was it? I even Stinger. spoke it. I don't know. Oh, that Jimmy John's graduate. Good. How do you feel, big dog? Uh, feeling good, man. How's life? Life university or? Yeah, pretty much life in general. How do you feel? Pretty good, man. We just need to get this win. What do you, what, what, uh, how do you predict that we uh, go about this game? Um, as long as all 14 of us pass to Kirk, we should be fine. <laughs> so, how do you feel about Kirk Pretorius being named the player to watch for this game? Oh, it's, it's accurate. It's accurate. He's, it's all about Kirk. So, what's his stats now? 6'5", 250? 
I don't know, his, his reps when his bench pressing reps when have been down. No, I mean, don't get that shit. I've heard he's gone down from 15 to 12. <laughs> is that what do you feel? Is he getting weak or is he just being soft? I don't know, he's being lazy, eh? Thank you for thank you for taking time out of your day, Stan. Appreciate it. We know you're a busy man. No, so Sean, seriously, back to the game. How, how if we were to get down there, what is the game plan and uh, how do we go about winning? Uh, I think we're gonna play running rugby. You know, uh, they big heavy boys, so they're gonna be slower on the field mm. when they get tired. And uh, I think on defense, we just need to smother them, smother the ball, get, and hit them behind that bondage line. So, uh, how come you didn't grow any facial hair for any distinct facial features for this one? <laughs> so I'm, actually, I'm actually planning on shaving tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, stash? Or are we going goatee? What? Uh, what are you doing? Chops? Could be, could be clean, eh? Ooh, wow. Could be Brazilian. I like it. I like <laughs> it. I like it. Well, thank you for taking time any day, man. We know you're busy. Cody. Doing. Cody. What's up? Kurt Angle. How do you feel, man? Feeling great. How are you feeling? You hydrating? Is that hydrating? No, it's some seats. Oh. Some five seats. Prepping for the game. So, what? What? Take us through your warm up. Mental warm up. For the game. Game day. Something that you think you have a song that mental, gets you hard. Mental warm up is getting some pump up songs in. Mm. Um. Recent one is you'll find yourself. Oh wow! Thanks to Zinni. I think I think uh, Tomo's told us about that. No, that Tomo Tomo doesn't like that. Tomo doesn't like that no, song. He doesn't no, like no. That. Tomo doesn't like it. No, but just gotta mentally prepare for this game. So we gotta put some some massive hits on. Oh yeah. We're gonna do an angle slam. Like always. Good man. We look forward to seeing it. Dill, the general, <laughs> the buddy general coming in hot. Okay, tell us. The hair. Does it bring you like special powers? Just trying to uh, college kid on a budget. First thing to go is haircuts. And, uh, it wasn't meant to be like this, but now, to save money. Question: What conditioner do you use? Because you have a ravishing tail, club. You know, you gotta go with the horse. Do you have a special type of brush? I got quite a few brushes. Depends on the humidity outside. Uh, Every morning, wake up, check the yard weather. Nice. My, select my brush according to. So, uh, tell us how you feel about the uh, rugby mag article. You're an explosive winger nowadays. How do you how do you feel about the most recent one? You got beautiful picture. You look you look stunning up there. I'm an explosive winger now. Yeah. How do you feel about the position move? Oh, well, that's got to be due to power plays. That now I'm an explosive winger. Yeah, a couple box jumps here and there. <laughs> how high's your bet? Oh, uh, you know I got uh, two credit cards now. I used to start with just one. And uh, yeah, much improved in that area as well. Mate, you've had a fantastic season. Any words for the lads? Any, any, you know, pump up words, inspirational speech? Well, we know, we know what we can do, so it's just to do it now. Red Wolf right you about it, yeah. Hey, stay rugby, hashtag. Well, we look forward to seeing you uh, shredded out there, keeping it shredded, and uh, good luck, mate. Thank you. All right, we'll take it back to the, the dynamic duo. Lads, give us, give us a piece. Poop, if you want to spit a bit. Yeah. Give us a spit. Uh, I don't have I don't have any beats for you, <laughs> but I mean I would love to hear some freestyling. Oh man, Dale, you look you look great, mate. Thanks. Look phenomenal. How do you feel? Here, so <laughs> I had to take the shirt off. Yeah. How do you, how do you feel about this weekend's game? I feel great. But me coming in off the bench, hot. Do some damage. Gonna you're gonna break some ankles. You're gonna step fools. Nice, nice. Question: How do you keep the flow in place? Uh, it does what it wants, you know. Yeah. I don't have to do my hair, guys. So, so it's kind of like a living organism, but exactly. just rolls with it. It grows on its own. I don't yeah. really believe in haircuts. Ah, uh, so. just chilling. So I got a question. How come you didn't? Uh, you have you got a great mouth there. So uh, how come you didn't grow a stash? You know, stash really ain't in my style. I haven't been able to grow a little, a little petty on my lips <laughs> for a very long time. So. I just go with the chops. Oh, are you gonna are you gonna give it a clean shave and just go with the straight chops? Yeah, I think so. Nothing compared to Jake's beard. I mean, Jake Mizell is a you know. The boots you wear. And, uh, <laughs> are those boots made for walking? The beard, the beard you wear is a lot more tough. Texas, than I'm out. High school football. High school football. Yeah, Texas five eight football. You wanna give us a little brief interview about? I mean, past like little little lead up to high school football with Jake. How was it? Oh uh, well, you know, if he didn't knock himself out, it was great. He didn't make a lot of tackles, just throw in there. It's like seeing him hit a brick wall most of the time. <laughs> How do you think he's made the transition from football to rugby? Uh, well, he gets like knocked. He gets knocked out a lot more in rugby, but uh, you know, his form. If he doesn't lead with his head into someone's knee or shoulder or head, he stays awake. He makes tackles. Well, guys, thank you for thank you for the time out of your day. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll be back.
we'll be with back the, after uh, the uh, Kurt Huckabee's Cup is in our Exactly. Hands, so. We'll be uh, celebrating and uh, we'll have a post-match interview. Cheers. Cheers. I'll interview a couple of rooks while we're waiting for Jake Mazel. Rookies. What's up? Don't speak unless spoken to, dog. Hey, sh oh wait, we'll, we'll get we'll come back to the rookies. We're the team doctor. Hello, I'm the team, team doctor. doctor. How do you Hello. feel about this weekend? I feel great about this weekend. This will be a magnificent weekend. We are going to bring it this weekend. Bring it. How do you feel about the first of many to come, Kurt Huckabee Memorial Championship game? How do you feel about it? Give us your thoughts on it. Is it going to be epic? It's going to be like. It's going to be like uh, any given Sunday, you know. It's going to be like Godzilla versus Mothra. Oh, I thought it was Godzilla versus King Kong. Uh, and that. In, oh, okay. In, in, in another sequel. It's so pretty much like Australia versus New Zealand. Pretty much. Ah, pretty fantastic. Much. Well, thank you for taking time. It's we'll go to our line out specialist, Balake. How's it going? Hello, Balake. Great stash, mate. Thanks, man. You got a power stash. Get the rid of it. The rest of it gone. Question. Yeah. Life. Tell us your thoughts about them. University or our lives? Uh, well, our lives in general and life. I think we're on the road to freedom. <laughs> oh, I like that. It's a power stance. Uh, I, think, uh, I think they got a tough match out of them. Mm. I think it's hard to beat a good team three times in one season. Yeah, definitely. Feeling confident. So, uh, three points on the weekend. How it's going to go? How are we going to beat them? What, what do we need to do? Yeah. Uh, we need to out hit them. Mm. Coach her, her, uh, we need to not give away penalties in our own half. Definitely. And play free, free flowing rugby. Any any kind words for uh, future aspiring rugby stars? Just do as Harry Higgins does. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Coming in interview, we just had a lovely chat with. Uh, James Cobble. Oh yeah. We were uh, talking about your high school football days. Oh yeah. Well, you wanna, uh, do you want to give us a little little uh, brief history on it? Check, check the tape, but I was great. I was great in high school. How, had, uh, how many tackles did you make in one game? Oh, average. Sixteen on average. Sixteen on average. Six, sixteen on average. So basically, yeah. why didn't you go pro? Because you love I'm rugby. A small guy. You love I'm a rugby. Guy, but you and love, I love rugby. That's why. I love rugby, and you know. They gave me a chance here at Arkansas State because everyone thought I was too small, too little hot-headed, and I came here and I whooped ass. I mean, whooped that rear. There's nothing wrong with the... Is that self-proclaimed? No, no, no. I got stat sheets. Stat, stat sheets, sheets, eh? Check the stat sheets. Yeah, the stats. Now, Jake Mizell, I've I've heard some ridiculous claims before, and I've heard you say that you are no. the mouth from the south. Yeah. How do you support those claims? Well, what can I say? I got We put a little a little bit of south in their mouth. Cause I mean, we kicked their ass. But Jake's and we, the mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah well. that's why I was leading. <laughs> now, Jake, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are one of the very few men on the team that have decided to grow facial hair. Yeah, yeah. I am. Uh, I'd love. I'd like to get a full view of that. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Got the chops wow. all the way up to the stash. Wow. And the chops on the inside. That's uh, that's phenomenal work, mate. Well done. Thanks. Uh, any any kind words for the future aspiring rugby stars of USA Rugby? Uh, you know, just give it 110 percent in everything that you do. Oh, are you thinking? Back. All you're thinking is about that game, and then the day comes when you wake up and you start running through the day of the game. Right when you wake up, start thinking about what you're going to do for the day of the game. So in the game, what are you going to target on doing? Kill Joe Callie. Woo! So you got Joe Callie's number, huh? I got Joe Callie's number. You're going to make him your baby boy? Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. <laughs> I got his number, but I don't know what number he is. Okay, Preston, as a, as a youngster of the group, yeah. any uh, future words for the rookies of your team? Just as Jake Mizell said, 110 percent. Hey, wait, wait, I got, I got one more for you. And be a, hey, be a sponge. Be a sponge. Absorb I like everything. that. I like Just that. Know your role, shut your mouth, and do your job. Three rules to live by. Watch out, Jake Mizell said that. He's gonna get you. All right, ladies and gents. Team A State Rugby hashtag How Pride. We're signing out. Any kind words, lads, lads. There's a lot of howling going on, there's a lot of rebels up in here. Hey, big boy. Then I show up to this lake house. Hey, what's up? Did you get that? Yeah. No, no. Did I tell? So, 
I show up at this party and I What's see up, there's, there's this What's one up, girl. You ready for the girl who I wanted we'll run for the captain run? run. So yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm getting hydrated. Oh, oh. I'm feeling nice. What you got? What flavor is that? Orange. Jake, what's up, bud? Exactly. By the time it turns like 11 o'clock, well. 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 guess who fucking wants it? Get off the bus. Oh, How do you pronounce this? Is this orange? Welcome back to uh, A State Rugby Player Cam. Uh, you're here with Team Trainer, Fergalicious, and uh, Tomo, the Kiwi lad. And I don't know who this guy is, but he's got weird glasses on. You want to introduce yourself to the camera? Introduce myself? No, in English, please. English, dog. English. We don't have subtitles on this, mate. <laughs> I could edit it, but I don't know how to do that. Hey, I'm Emilio from Chile. Do you have a last name? Uh, Betanzo. Do you have three names? Uh, Emilio Alberto Betanzo Perez. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was impressive. Can you do that again, but without stumbling? Emilio Alberto Betanzo Perez. Wow, that was impressive. Single name like they do in Brazil. Do you have an English name? Do you know like how the Chinese come here and then they give you like Frank? Or like Ben? <laughs> Maybe Lucas? No, I haven't given one of those yet. Ah, well, we think you're special and we love you, so Thank we'll, you. we'll name you sooner or later. We'll give you an English right. name. Yeah. So, uh, just here walking into the lovely life uh, dormitory. I mean, some call it the dome. Oh, wow, look at this. What a day. Bloody, oh, fantastic. Fields cut. He's a team. Bloody epic. Signing out for time being. Got to get game day ready. Peace out. A state. Hashtag. A state rugby. Very pretty, pretty campus. Thought I'd give you guys the lay of the lay of the land. You want an interview? You want to come over here, Mrs. Bush? How's that rat tail? I thought that was an international thing. Texas. Are you from Texas? Is that another country? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Who's your president? George Me. Bush. I am. <laughs> My grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag education. What is the government? I think we're gonna pass it up. Oh, well, I'll keep it obvious. Happy birthday, man. What's up? Birthday yeah, boy. Birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday. And we're gonna play some rugby. Congrats. Hey, hey. I wouldn't spend it with a different group of lads. Ever. How are you guys? Hello, Paul Stang. Oh, shit, it's really zoomed in, eh? Yeah, you gotta zoom it out. This Where? One here. Oh, is that one zoom out? Yeah, there we go. Harry, how do you feel stepping on this field again? Oh, uh, you know, it's third time this year. Well, second time this year. Um, first time wasn't the result we wanted. Uh huh. I uh, had a couple of injuries, but uh, you know, this time I'm feeling really confident. What lads, you, lads have been doing good. What do you plan on doing different this time? Oh, making more tackles. More tackles. More tackles and uh, less mistakes. You know, being uh, being critical around the ruck. You know. And uh, you feeling confident? Very, very confident. You know, we've got Paul Stain Bernade, greatest player on earth. Not, um, not ready to end your season yet, are you? No, definitely not. We've got another week and uh, look forward to it. Bite here to eat. And then uh, we're going to go to the hotel at 5. Everyone meet at the lobby with your polos. Uh, thanks to uh, Cookie's uncle and aunt for hosting us for dinner today. Yeah. Yeah. So 5, lobby, and then when we come back to the hotel, you guys can chill. That's yeah. pretty much all we have to do tonight. Uh, for those that want to go to the gym, we have a minivan. When we go back when we go back to the hotel, you guys can drive back here and come and lift. Sounds good. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, like uh, tradition, Holds a pretty good uh, record. If we go to a movie the night before a big game, we come out with a the w. The neighbors. Yeah. Neighbors. Up. Neighbors. neighbors. I know it, it's yeah. a great movie. Neighbors. Yeah. yeah. Neighbors. Just oh, neighbors. That's it. Yeah. 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 So we got to have dinner a little early. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go see yeah. 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 Sounds good. All right, sweet. We'll do that. I've got I stole I just don't have the what the one <laughs> Game day baby <laughs> Good good
We move in on the sleeping bear. Don't, don't wake a bear well, from its hibernation. When you, when you poke a bear, what time of it is? Where are we going, Harry? I don't know, it looks like a ranch. <laughs> Your ranch. Oh, I'm zooming in. Yeah, what's up? We in the south. Look at this posh manor we're at right now. You want to take a view? Take a look at this. What? Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. We got a little, little pasture right here with all our flowers. Rope swings up in that there tree, I reckon. Real southern. Got the garden over here. We have the house owners. We got me. Lavish. Lavish building. We're going in. We're going in. Oh, barbecue. Barbecue. Fire pit. Uh, little John. Oh, little John, no. No, it's not. Uh, no, no. They live in Miami. What do you think oh, of this yeah, home? Yeah, what do you think of this uh, posh manor we got here, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the side. Safa's never seen anything like this, huh? Yeah. yeah. you never seen anything like this. This is America. No, no. It's America. He was like Colorado. What do you have to say about to the camera, Kirk? You happy to be here? Yeah, it's a nice place. I've been, I already checked it out. Look. Oh, dude, there is those chickens? Look at this. Beautiful flowers. Oh, we got a meadow. Dude, there's a river back here, Choders. Look at this place. Is this chickens or turkeys? Oh, oh, oh my God. I'm getting this all on camera. Bunch of roosters. Is that a trampoline? Oh, it's a trampoline, Choders. It's a trampoline, Joders. It's a trampoline. Woo! Very rusty trampoline it is. Are you filming this? I'm filming all this right now. Joders, action shot. Do something cool. Do a back flip. Nope, I'm not killing myself. God, do a front flip then. Let's go look at the pony. We can eat later. The posh manner of poshest manner you've ever seen in freaking Georgia. In fact, I've ever seen in my life. We got a freaking soccer field over that hedge. Oh, there, is it in here? Let's take a look. Come here, little horsey. Oh my God, a mini horse. He's awesome. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Just some jolly lads over here, tossing around the good old pig skin. Look at that, a South African throwing a pig skin. Never done that before. South African, huh? Throwing the throwing the pig skin. How's it feel? Dude, so much good footy out here. Don't take up interest in this one. Oh, we got a wall for wall ball. Oh, Dale's on the ripstick. All right, put, hey, you're on film. Don't me you're on film right now. Let's see. It. Now the camera's on you. Whoa! With, with yes. Wow, Lawrence. Coach, have you seen like the, the animal coops over there? Okay, yeah, I did. That's nuts, huh? Yeah. You're trying to mess with Cuz though. Yeah. Shaking your Oh, Dude, I haven't seen one good volley. I'm just gonna. Oh, you missed the fingertips. Wow, great shot. South Africans shooting the basketball now. Something they don't do. 
<laughs> yeah, and another miss. He's done. Peace. He's <laughs> hey, rookies, come here. Rookie number one, two, three. I don't know, but I'm always number one. I'm always number one. Well, four is my lucky number, so I'll be rookie number four. I'll be four, I'll be four number one. Oh, whoa, check that bocce ball game out over there. What is that? Shot put? That's bocce ball. Same shot put? It's, uh, no, not really. You're not trying to go too far with it. Look at this long line. Blue! 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 Come here, Blue! Oh, it's been too long. What do you want? What do you want to hear? What do you want us to do? Hey, get that out of my face. We're having a conversation here. Personal What do you want the uh, this is an A and B conversation? A and B conversation. See yourself out. See yourself out. Oh, do oh. that. One. I beat you to it. That's why you're number four, rookie. I'm number one. I know. I'm, I'm number four. four. Yeah, whatever. I'll share that with you. Okay. I don't mind sharing with you, but don't share it. Oh, you him. finish your own insult. Oh, shit. Man, you better watch. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> what did you say, sir? How do you finish your own insult? Hey, no hablo espanol, way. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what you're saying right now. Speak to the camera. Watch Ah, those kids are jealous. <laughs> hey, you're not supposed to be over that hedge. <laughs> don't make it. Don't make me get my gun. Don't we'll send blue over. Preston in his natural habitat.